Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about VS Code Web Extension. So in the last video, I have shown you how you can create your own extension and install in your VS Code uh, native app. And today uh, we will try how we can, you know, port the same extension in a browser. So you might already know we have something called uh, VS Code for a browser. So as you can see, it's a browser tab and I'm running VS Code.tab and you can pretty much do, uh, you know, most of the things in the browser itself. So no need to download VS Code in your uh, machine. You can simply use this URL and uh, it will, you know, you can start writing your code in the, from the browser itself. But if you use the same extension, which we tried to, you know, develop in the last video, and if you try to search over here, you won't find it because that we developed only for native applications. Okay, so in this video, we'll see how we can use the same code and, you know, make a hybrid app so that it will work as well as in the browser, as well as in your native uh, VS Code uh, desktop application. There are limitations in the browser, like uh, here you won't be, you know, able to use file system as uh, like you were uh, doing in the native app, like you were able to create new files and you were able to do a lot of things, right? So let's go to this article where they talked about uh, how we can create a web extension so pretty much you need to you know modify your uh, you know that uh, web config file actually this file i'm talking about uh, this uh, web uh, sorry not web config it's webpack.config uh, file okay so this is the file majorly you will be uh, modifying and along with that you have to do a minor change in the package.json so maybe i'll just change the version 4 right now i will show you how we can you know publish as well so as you can see right now uh, i think it's right now version 3 we will first publish the version 4 right in this video itself all right so let me go back to the changes and you, this is the major change actually so basically when you create an extension for a native application then the entry point should be from the main you will be mentioning in the main but in case of browser you have to use a browser tag okay so and how you build the code also there will be a, a little bit change in that so there that change we will be doing as part of a uh, launch.json file so these things are uh, you know all explained in this uh, uh, this web uh, extension tutorial i mean like this is the link i will provide in the description by the way so if you go through this link you will get to know how you can modify your package.json and how you can modify your webpack.config.js file all right and the, if you scroll to the bottom you will get to know there is something called um, there is there is there is a hybrid app also so maybe you can take a look how they have done it so maybe i'll just show you where is that link all about maybe you have to risk you know scroll a little bit more down and this you should see something called vs code cs uh, as formatter so if i open this link you will see a git application i mean git it's a good repository of this uh, extension and if you go to this package.json over here you will see this extension is actually a hybrid extension so you can take a look of this also and using this also i have created my own extension i mean how i converted my extension from native to browser base as well so you can see you can take a look of this one all right so let me go back to the diff again so you can see i made a small configuration so if you see the debugger here earlier we were having only the one extension by default like that is for uh, only for browser based another you have can you know make an entry so that it can build the code for your uh, browser uh, browser based extension as well all right so let me close this and there is one small change also is there with the respect to this one so these configuration also you need to do so that it, it's just the same if you don't do also you can reuse the same web watch i mean like watch so that it will be keep running your code and compiling into json file js file because i have created a ts and it will compile and create a build actually let me close these two so that said we will be doing nothing much and now there is one more extra step they have mentioned what if like you don't want to publish first but how you whether you want to check whether your extension is running or not without publishing like how you can run your extension in your uh, local machine and you can see whether it's working or not and you can fix it if there is an issue and then later on publish to the marketplace so for this what you need to do you need to scroll on the same article so they have provided a way so that you can use test your extension like whether how it's working in your browser so this is the link to open vs code in a browser copy this command so that it will run that uh, server locally in your machine so let me stop this one which i have created in the last video and we don't need this right now 
and let's go back to command terminal so let me open one more terminal here and hit enter okay so the local server is running let's copy the another url you can see we are getting the pretty much same message so let's copy this uh, local tunnel open one more terminal now copy this url and then you have to open this url actually in your browser first and say click to continue once this part is done you have to come back to your vs code uh, browser i mean uh, in your browser and press f1 you will see something called install extension from location so now i click on that and i paste the same url which i just now copied and hit install you will see it will start installing that extension in my browser you can see it's installed and it's showing version 4 which is from my local machine because just now i put 4 over there okay so you can see now this icon is coming over here in the sidebar let me click on it and you see it's pretty much same as you were seeing in my local native app let me run this native app so you can see it looks exactly so this is native app which i'm holding right now let me open this browser also here so you can see it's pretty much exactly same but there are limitations many things won't work in the browser so maybe i'll show you for example if you click on this browser icon you can see this this thing is working it's opening the url in the new tab and similarly there are some stuff like things like showed you right how you can put the data in the cache or a secret cache how you can open a terminal or like a, how you can show, show the progress so you observe when i click on this show progress bar it's showing the progress bar on the uh, on the bottom left side in the native application it was showing on the right side Another thing is like if I type something, let's say, uh, hello, hello world. And if I try to say save in cache, and if I try to open a cache over here, show cache, see it's not showing. So some things are not working. So there are some features like related to file system, which also will not work in the browser, right? So you do, you can create a temporary, uh, you know, document. So for example, when I create, click on this create temp document, see it's able to open that new tab and here you can write actually your code whatever you want to type but if you give a physical file path and try to open a physical file it won't work if you try to do a div because it, these things work through based on the file paths so it won't work so that's the basic difference okay now let's try to publish this extension all right so let me close this we don't want this tab let me uninstall it which i have installed from a, a local package right now so this is the version 4 I installed it let me reload and you can see it's gone and if I go back to the I think where's the extension you can see it's right now version 3 if I refresh you can see it's still version 3 all right so for for publishing we need to go to this marketplace uh, <clears throat> I'm searching where is that link I think uh, it's so yeah it's a, this is the token we need to generate maybe i can use the same token or if you want you can create a new token over here and simply let me close this we don't need this now we just need vsc login command login and now we need to put our uh, publisher id so my publisher id is ng i simply say enter i can say yes and it's asking for personal extra, uh, pta personal access token let me go back here and i think i can regenerate because i don't remember this so revoke it's gone now let's create new and this is the thing we have to change and we have to search something for marketplace and where we will be selecting manage this is the marketplace and let's click on this create so let me copy this access token close 
and go back in the VS code paste now we logged in now we can use our simply VSCE publish now this will publish the version 4 as you can see it's done let me go back to this uh, marketplace let me hit refresh you can see it's started doing the verification and in some time I mean it normally take one minute or something uh, this package will be live so right now if you go back and search meanwhile it's verifying if I type uh, not here actually here IPOC and you can see it's showing version 2 actually uh, maybe I didn't refresh this over okay so it's showing version 3 right now and once this verification is done then it will show version 4 as you can see now it's published and let's search I go back to the uh, VS code in my browser and let me type over here in final POC And you can see now it's showing version 4 let's hit install as you can see it's installed over here let me click on this icon and see things are working all right and as I've already told you there are limitations so with respect to file uh, system it won't work and like these things are not maybe there are different ways to make these things work which I'll cover in our future videos you can see the progress bar is running and similarly let me search on the local so this is version 3 let me refresh you can see the version 4 if I install here in my native browser I mean uh, in my native application you can see it has uh, working you can see the welcome message over here if I click on this it's, uh, it's working as it was all right that that's pretty much about this video thank you very much